Morning, it's good to be here again. Uh, give you a little recap. We had 808 bills introduced total. 49 have passed the House, 55 have passed the Senate, so just a little over 100 have passed. We have about 60 on our calendar for Monday, which is the last day for second reading, and I'm not sure how many the Senate has. It looks like there may be a, about 200 total bills out there still in play at the end of the first half. You know, the last time we were here, we said usually probably about 100 of them actually will become law, and that looks like it may happen. Uh, Broke mine into things we've done in the last couple of weeks and things that are coming up actually tomorrow. I had a chance to look at the list. I uh, don't know much about them, but I'll at least tell you what the topics are. Uh, <coughs> last, uh, since we met before, the two gun bills that we talked about, one uh, were allowing you to have your locked gun in the car, did pass the House. That's a tough vote for me. I'm a private property right person. I think I ought to have a right to say who and what comes on my property, but I'm also a gun person. So that was a tough one. I did vote for it, and it passed fairly easily in the House. The other one had to do with a couple of newspapers got in and got the uh, uh, records of personal carry permits and published uh, quite a bit of information. And so a bill was, was passed that basically that does, it makes it so it's not public information, and uh, that also passed. Had a bill. The toughest vote I had this week was on a grandparents' bill. You know, a few years ago we gave grandparents the right to go in and, and seek visitation for uh, a lot of times when when uh, a parent gets mad at a grandparent or something, they'll withhold it. In most cases, it's usually during a divorce situation where one of them gets mad and doesn't let the other parents, or uh, a death in the family. One of the parents, the father or mother, dies, and therefore uh, the other grandparents don't get don't get to see them at all. This bill opens it up for every grandparent to have visitation rights. In other words, uh, if you have a, an intact mother and father that decide they don't want their grand, either sets of grandparents to see their kids for any reason, then uh, the grandparent can go into court. There, there was a stipulation on it, though, that the grandparent has to show that they had a significant uh, part of that child's life. I mean, it can't be that you just gave them a birthday gift or something every year or something. You actually, you babysat for them for a long time. You helped raise them or whatever. And, and again, it was a tough vote for me. I ended up voting against it. Uh, I believe in parental rights, and this basically was, was taking away some of the parents' rights, but, but I didn't feel real good about it. But anyway, it, it did happen. Another bill we had, uh, veterans, uh, if, it, if there's a veteran-owned business, it gives them a 3% price preference on bids here in the state of Indiana. Uh, it was pointed out by one of my colleagues that uh, if you have a very, very large contract, you know, you go build a school building, it's better known, it could be a whole lot of money. And so uh, if the bill moves in the Senate, we're going to try to put a limit on that. We want to help the veterans, but we don't know that they ought to be getting <coughs> a 3% preference on a $50 million uh, school building or something along that nature. Things that are coming up Monday, and like I said, I, I just took a quick look at them. Smoking ban. It's ba been back every year. It's really interesting this time because Charlie, Representative Charlie Brown, absolutely, he, he has been on this issue all along. However, they found out that the casinos, if you have a smoking ban in casinos, they lose about 20% of their revenue. And, and they actually have numbers in, in Illinois. There are a few casinos that actually banned them because uh, the question was asked, was, was it just because the economy went down or was it really because of smoking? And they were able to determine that it was a smoking. So Charlie had to come in and get an exception to his smoking ban for his casinos up there in Gary. And you talk about looking pretty hypocritical when he's up there fighting for all this thing and it turns out that, hey, money may trump public health. So he wanted to put a, an exception in for just the casinos. Nobody else could have one. Well, the very next person up had a bill that was going to exempt smoking shops. Uh, down in Newcastle, Indiana, they have a very large uh, tobacco store, and he thought they ought to be able to smoke in a tobacco store, which kind of makes sense. If you're going to go in there and buy them, you're probably a smoker, right? And it passed, and Charlie saw what was going to happen because next up was the service clubs. There was going to be a amendment on those, which probably would have gone in. Then the uh, bars, uh, bars, uh, and so he pulled the bill. It is still on the calendar, and we'll see what happens uh, next. Uh, there's a texting ban on there, which probably is going to pass. Uh, there are different stats that show that for every four seconds, uh, I don't know, four seconds, it takes you four seconds to do a text. I don't know, your eyes are off the road. For every four seconds of looking at a text, you're off the road for 6.9 seconds or something along that, so it's probably going to happen. Uh, animal rights. Uh, last year we had the puppy mill bill. Well, that was a camel's nose under the tent. They're going to be back every year. This year, uh, pet stores, and, and I, I wasn't in the committee, but it was a very, very long committee, and I heard lots of comments about it. Pet stores are going to have to basically give you the history of every little pet that they, that, that they sell. 
uh, where it came from, whether it came from somebody that produces uh, five litters a year, 10 litters a year, 20 year, litters a year. Uh, you have to put the history, how many shots, all sorts of different things. Uh, one part of it doesn't look too bad, it, it, although I, the penalty, if you attend any kind of a dog fight, cock fight, anything like that, it's a D felony, which I hope we don't fill up our prisons with people that attend those things, even though they are pretty nasty things. And then there was an equine uh, shelter bill. In other words, you have to provide certain types of shelter, can't have any standing water and different type things. Uh, that will be up uh, um, Monday. Net metering, we have a bill in the House. Uh, Wes is co-sponsor of that one. We'll let him talk about that, but there, we have our own net metering bill. Have a heavy-duty truck limit. Uh, you know, in Indiana, I think it's like 84,000 pounds. Uh, this is going to add 400 pounds to the total weight of a truck. And you think, what in the world would anybody do this for? One of the problems, you know, trucks go into truck stops, they sit there and they plug in and they park and they run their, their diesel all night. A lot of pollution comes from that. Uh, apparently they have units out now that are self-contained heaters, air conditioning, and so forth that you can put on the back of your cab so that you don't have to run your diesel. It just simply runs a small engine. It, it, they're about 400 pounds, so they're basically in an environmental move uh, to save, save the air, they would like to be able to not count that towards the total weight of your trucks. Probably will pass the House. It did last year, but apparently it did not get a, get a vote in the Senate. Uh, charter schools bill. Uh, this is a real wing-ding of a bill. Basically, it's going to outlaw charter, outlaw charter schools or make them so that they are, it's not possible to have any more new ones. Uh, Representative Porter does not like charter schools. It flies in the face of everything Mr. Obama, or President Obama is trying to do. Uh, this bill says that 51% of the parents in a school district have to approve. You actually have to have a referendum and approve having another charter school come in. You're not going to get 51 parents, 51% of the parents to vote on a bill like that. It just isn't going to happen. Probably, if, if this would go into effect, it would probably cost you cost Indiana millions of dollars because Indiana has decided to go for those race to the top funds, uh, stimulus funds that the uh, uh, president has out there. And, and uh, if we pass something like this, I guarantee you we will not be eligible for them. Uh, for any of that money. Uh, school counselors bill have to have one counselor for every 250 students, one social worker for every 400 students, and one psychologist for every 1,000 students. That's going to be up. Uh, also has a job description of what a school counselor is. And it's pretty prescriptive, I believe is the term, narrows it down pretty much. Uh, takes away a lot of flexibility of the administration uh, if the school counselor can only do just the things that are in, in that bill. Uh, and, I, and this is one, and I actually got it for Michelle. There's an adult education bill in there. Haven't really looked at it. Uh, looks like students that drop out of school can get into adult education, and the state has to pay for them. Uh, not sure the exact amount, but I saw where in one part it said the appropriation for schools goes from $6.5 billion to $6.5 billion plus about $14 million. So it looks like it has about $14, $14 million in it. Probably not going to have a chance because we're not talking about money this year. Uh, everybody has pretty much uh, decided that we're going to have to live with our means. So if that's it. I'd be happy to answer, answer any questions. Oh, one more thing. You know, we, had the, we had the ethics bill about the whining and dining of all of us legislators. This week the newspapers were down. They have two bills this year. They whined and dined us Thursday. They took us all over to the Marriott. <laughs> and their lobbyists worked the bill. And it, I kept thinking, a little bit hypocritical for them to stand there and blast every other special interest, and yet they were there this week and took us all to dinner Thursday.